This is Rita Del Vecchio. I'm going on the porch for five minutes apiece. The first one who calls me gets my slipper. Oh, you see this? You kids got the whole street to play ball on, but you gotta play in front of my house. That's okay, because I keep it now. Okay? You happy? Good, because I wanted one of these. Uh, hi, doll. Is this a new one? Let me see. Oh, she is stunning. All she needs is a set of wings. Now, how was labor? Twelve hours? Natural childbirth, uh-huh. And your husband was with you the whole time? God love him. When I come out of delivery, I had to call my husband at the Sons of Italy to tell him it was over. I wasn't dead. Don't listen to me. Don't listen. I'm bad. Oh, I'm so bad. Don't listen. One second. One second. Oh, there's my son. Jerome, I want you to go to the store for me. A package of knee highs. I'm on my last pair. Suntan. Use the money I gave you this morning. I'll write a Snickers and then I want the change. You know what this bastard says to me today? He says, Ma, I think we need a machine for the phone. I says, ooh, the phone was a machine the last time I checked, but don't listen to me, because I'm from Mars. I don't know nothing, right? All right, one second, though. Hi, Loretta, how you doing? Okay, a little gassy, we just ate. Don't listen, I didn't say that, Loretta. Oh, Loretta, you know I'm bad. You know I'm bad. My husband says I should be committed. I said, give me the keys, I'll drive. Oh, go inside where it's safe. All right, doll, you take care. You know Loretta, don't you? She's a third house from the corner. Well, then you know she's separated. My neighbor Bella and I, we were sitting on my front porch. We saw her get dropped off three times by a strange guy, and they kissed. Wait a second. He was at least half her age. He couldn't have been any older than my Jerome. I looked, I turned to Bella, and I said to Bella, I go, Bella, you got more facial hair than he does. She says, you're bad. Oh, we lift up a storm when I said that to her. Oh, we lift up a storm. I had to go up to the house to pee. You know me. Oh, just take me now. That's what I say. All right. One second. There's Jerome. Jerome, did you go to the store? Did you get the knee highs? He forgot the knee highs, but watch this. Did you get the Snickers? Yeah, but he got the Snickers. You thought the worst was over in delivery, all right? Get on the porch! This is Joy Lipton. She's doing her first uh, in-home demonstration. Will everyone please have a seat while they're nibbling on their delicious finger foods and we can begin the demonstration. Welcome to the world of Angel Glow Cosmetics and Apparel. I'm your Angel Glow representative and pilot, Joy Lipton. I say pilot because I'm gonna take you on a trip to beauty with no stops. Has your man been given the Barca Lounge the attention you deserve? Well, one whiff of eye mitt will separate them for sure. With its light floral scent combined with a hint of musk, you may find yourself saying, what have I done? For like dogs to a stench, it will surely unleash the sexual beast in him. I'm wearing it now. Does your guy tell you that your lips remind him of two extra fluffy bedroom pillows waiting to be pressed against? Mine does. When our angel glows extra fluffy bedroom pillows waiting to be pressed against lipstick and streetwalker red. Stays all day? Where is all night? I'm wearing it now. By now, your, signif your significant other will have surely noticed the angel glow in you and say, hey, fine fox, what about me? And you'll respond, sorry, cowboy, angel glow's just for gals. You better make like store-bought mascara and smear before I spray you with angel glow's cologne spray for, what's this, it's never been done before, man? That's right, ladies, introducing cowboy man. A rugged scent with a hint of smoky pine, sure to make him have to pull back on your reins. Be playful and confuse him by wearing it yourself. Oh, cowboy man. Last, does your lover call you names at bedtime like eye candy or pet monkey? He will, when he spots you in an angel glow nighty from the new collection of bedroom apparel. Watch his reaction as you glide in in this eye teaser. This is a number called Stop the Presses, made of a comfortable polyester blend with matching lace panties. Turn your bedroom into a gymnasium with any one of Angel Glow's nighties. Nighttime's the right time with Angel Glow.
And oh, it's cold in here. I can't get my oh, I can't get my dress on. Okay, my last one. This is Althea McMenamin. And she's been given permission to go into the cockpit of a 727 Boeing airline. Captain Chase, my name is I'm I am Theo McManaman. I'm gonna be your cop. Captain Chase, my name is Theo McManaman. I'm gonna be a co-pilot for next couple of minutes. Okay. Captain Chase, my teacher, Mrs. Fitzgibbons, her husband's a pilot, and he came to our school to tell us about his job. And then we had a test, and I got an A. So Mrs. Fitzgibbons said that I had to the right stuff. Captain Chase, um, Captain Chase, uh, my, do you have any kids? I have a little brother, Corey. My little brother, Corey, was born with only one testicle. How many do you have? Do you have one or two? You only need one. Captain Chase, we're going to visit my Aunt Jane in Colorado where it's cold. My Aunt Jane... She's got a life partner. Her name is Judy. They're not married. They're life partners. Life partners! Life partners! Life partners! Life partners! Life partners! Captain Jake, um, I won't do drugs. Know why? Because only a dope does dope. And if a big kid asks me, I'm just gonna tell him I don't need drugs to feel good. Besides, uh, I'm already, I'm already. <laughs> I don't find it. I don't find it. I don't find it. I'm okay. My mom does drugs, but the prescription of calmer down, so that's okay. Captain Jay, do you, I, I won't have sex before I'm married. You know why? Because no one can touch my body except for my husband. I can touch my body, but only if I'm going to wash or if I feel the need to explore. I, I think I'll go deep sea diving. But Captain Chase, I wanted to fly the plane a little more. Maybe I can come back up later? Okay. Bye, Captain Chase. Thanks for letting me go in the, in the cockpit. Mom! Captain Chase, there's two testicles. That's it, thank you. <laughs>